In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate the process to do property research online. Specifically, we're going to build this AI automations to look through each property listing's images, be able to analyze if there's any room for renovations or any property inspections based on those property images. Then we're also going to compare the prices for each of those properties, as well as their features and specs. And of course, we're also going to automate the process to compare the, each of those properties with their nearby school's rating, as well as their property fees. And at the end, we're going to extract each of those informations for each of those properties and compare that, where eventually we're going to generate a investment potential score so that we can be able to identify which property has the highest investment potentials based on our investment calculations and algorithm. And that's basically what we're going to achieve in this video. Now, who is this video for? Well, if you are looking to automate a process to do property research or invest in properties, or if you're a realtor and you're looking to save more times to do the property inspections and research, and this video is gonna be perfect for you. By the end of this video, you will have a working AI automations that can extract listings and be able to output those listings along with their investment potential scores onto a Google Sheets like this, where we have listings as well as their investment scores, along with the breakdown scores on how we calculate the investment scores. All right, so to test the workflow is actually working, let me find a property to test. So here I'm just going to find one of the property and you can see that there's a home that's selling for 600k and there's another home selling for 2 million and there's another home selling for 2.5 million. So I think that this property is probably cheaper than those properties. So I expect that this property will have a higher potential for the investment. So I'm just going to copy the link for this property and let's run it to see how it works. And then here you can see inside of our NAN workflow, you can see that we have a form submission. So I'm just going to click on test workflow and I'm just going to paste the Zillow link into the form. And then after you can see the form is submitted, you can see that the current workflow is running. First, what we do is we'll call the API to get a listing detail about this property. Then what we do is we will analyze the images for these properties. So here you can see we have roughly around 34 images. So we're just going to fetch all those images and then be able to analyze a image scores. And then once we do that, we will basically generate the investment score and insert the records onto the Google Sheets. Now let's take a look into the details. So if I were to click into the analyze property, images score and then inside of our analyze property node you can see that we have our text input which is our prompt to analyze our images so here are the five things we look for structural renovations curb and also safety and unique features so it's out of five zero means the worst five means that it's the best or um you know not much work needs to be done right so on the right you can see that we have our outputs but we also need to convert this into structured data like what we have on the right so we convert text into structured data in a JSON format so that we can do the uh, investment score calculation. But you can also see that there's also reasons provided for each of those breakdown score, like the structural score and also the structural reason on why we give the score. So once we generate the image scores, then we also need to take this and calculate our investment score. So on the right, you can see that we have our investment score, which is roughly around 3.27. And here is the breakdown. So based on our research out of five, you can see that it might not be the best. But if we were to look at the breakdown, here's the price score. So four being that it's a really good price, right? It's undervalued or compared with nearby neighbors. This price is really good in terms of this home. But in terms of the bedroom score, as well as the bathroom score, uh, basically is less than the nearby neighbors, which makes sense because if we were to look at the nearby properties, this property has two bedrooms and two bathrooms. And if we were to close this, and look at another properties, you can see that it has four pro four bedrooms and four bathrooms. And here also four bedrooms and four bathrooms as well. So if we were to come back here, you can see that the living area score is also very low because the square feet of this property is smaller compared to the other one. And then we also have the year build score, which is zero because this property is longer or older than 10 years. So if we were to look at this, you can see that it was built in 1971, which is longer than 10 years. So if it's longer than 10 years, then we want to make sure to count that as part of the calculation. So that's what we see here. But if we were to look at the overall investment score, which we got is 3.27. And you can see that the way how we combine the score with the weights is that 25% of it comes from the price. So if the price is really good, despite other factors, then here we take 25% of that for the calculation on the overall investment score. So if the price is cheaper, is undervalued, is lower than the surrounding areas, then it's going to be a really good buy, right? And then we also look for things like the image score. So this is going to be taking 20%. If there's a high potential so that we can renovate this, or if there's high potentials that we can add value to it, then it will also take up 20% of the investment calculations. And then the rest of them will take roughly around five to 10%. And then if we were to look at our Google Sheets, you can see that we have our property along with their investment scores. Now, because early in the video, I mentioned to you that you can be able to automate the process to do multiple property research, not just one. So what we can do in the automation workflow is to have users to pass a zip code, and then it will basically search for all the properties around the area and be able to perform 
perform the same workflow that I just demonstrated to you, all the properties around that zip code. So let me show you how to do that. Now, before I show you the workflow, I just want to quickly show you that if you're looking for more automations in real estate business, I also have a video called Automate Real Estate Business with an AN, automation as well as lead qualifications. And of course, if you're looking to automate your sales calls, building a sales funnel, there's also videos like this where you can check it out as well. But all in all, if you're looking for more AI automations, feel free to check out this playlist and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. So in that case, let's continue with the video and check out the property research workflows. So to do so is very similar to how we did it in the first workflow, which is very similar. But the additional thing that I changed here is for the form submission to only take a zip code. So for example, if I were to test the workflow, and here you can see we need to take a zip code. So here I'm just gonna pass this particular zip code and submit this form. So once the form is submitted, you can see that it's going to trigger the Zillow API and it's going to search all the properties in that surrounded area. And then you can see that we found 13 items and you can see that for each of items, you can see we have the detailed URL, which is the listing URL, but it does not contain all the information about each properties. So what we can do is that we're gonna loop through each of those items and here you can see we're going to loop through 13 times and then for each of those items here you can see we're just going to get the property detail so for each of those property detail you can see we have the properties and then once we have the properties we're going to pass the images to the image analysis but because i don't have enough credits for my open router which you can see here my credit has used up and i only paid for roughly around four dollars i haven't been using this for two months now so i don't have much credits that i can show you but what you can do is that after you have your credits you can actually be able to loop through each of those properties it will still insert the records onto the google sheets like what i did in the previous section so that's basically how you can be able to loop through the listings that you find so now what i want to talk about is how we can be able to get those data on zillow right so to do so, we use Appify and you can see that if I were to click on the API call, you can see that we have our post request. This is the URL for the API. And here you can see in terms of the JSON body, this is the data that we have. So we pass the zip code, which is from the form submission. And then here is the info body. And then here you can see once we get the zip code search for the surrounding areas, we then pass the Zillow link for each of those properties, right? So you can see that each of those properties, Zillow detail URL, and we're going to pass this to the info body. And then we're going to send an API call to get the list in detail. So if we were to look at the Appify account, you can see that the two APIs that I use is the Zillow zip code search scraper. So this is the one that I use here, which is a Zillow zip code search. And then the other scraper that I use, which is called Zillow Detail Scraper. This one is being used here, which is Get Zillow List in Detail. All right, so pretty much this is it for this video. And if you're looking to download this on your local machine and try this out, I have already uploaded both of those workflows onto GitHub, so you can download this and try this out on your local machine. So here you can see this is the Property Image Analysis and Investment Scoring Workflow, which you can find in the description below, which is the same workflow that I have, which I showed you in the beginning of this video. And then I also have the Bulk property research by zip code workflow, which is the second workflow that I showed you in this video, which we loop through each of those properties and do the same property research for each of those properties. And both of those workflows, you can download this and I will put the links in the description below. But if you do found this video helpful, please make sure to like this video, comment down below if you have any ideas or any questions and, and subscribe to this channel if you're looking for more content like this. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.